Magandang umaga po mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Iaalay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Soros Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa. Para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, di ba? of Soros Parish. Ang Misa ay iaalay ng mga pari ng Society of Saint Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa araw na ito, ang mas presay ay sa Reverend Father Apolinar Castor, SSP. Mga intensyon sa Misa. Frances Turner, Avelian Ligaspi, Ganapin Family, Joshua, April, Abby, Kay and Brothers, Danny Bisuon, Sander, Lane, Crisnell, Melba Marbella, Rumel Marvel, Isaac Bormati, Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Bormati and Family, Peter Chun Matthew Barcelona, Christine Elisha Viador, Gonzales Family, Cora Amorado, Onslaught Racing Dragons, Minerva Carbonell, Gilbert Binaventura, and for the birthday of Lydia Rolon. And for the eternal repose for the soul of the following, 
Corazon Cornell, Johnny Cornell, Rolando Carpio, Conchita Carpio, Clarita Carpio, Rufino de los Reyes, Eric de Leon, Alona de Leon, Josa Margen, Judencia Libusada, Melnick Baguhin, Sherwin Quijano, Ricardo Tapang Sr., Flora Ang Chu, Merlinda Maglaki, Benjamin Tan, Francisco Morales, Rosa Morales, Jovi Rabi, Maria Socorro, and all the souls in Purgatory. Tayo po ay makiisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. Entrance Antiphone You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. Lord Jesus welcomes us to this Eucharist that we celebrate in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that when your son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering. Grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowledge in place with pride, but love builds up. If anyone supposes he knows something, he does not yet know as he ought to know. But if one loves God, one is known by him. So about the eating of meat sacrificed to idols, we know that there is no idol in the world, and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there are so-called gods in heaven and on earth, there are to be sure many gods and many lords, yet for us, there is one God, the Father, from whom all things are and for whom we exist, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all things are and through whom we exist. But not all have this knowledge. There are some who have been so used to idolatry up until now that when they eat meat sacrificed to idols, their conscience, which is weak, is defiled. Thus, through your knowledge, the weak person is brought to distraction, the brother for whom Christ died. When you sin in this way against your brothers and wound their consciences, weak as they are, you are, sin you are sinning against Christ. 
Therefore, if food causes my brother to sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I may not cause my brother to sin. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Lord, you have proved me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways, you're familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You need me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Probe me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if my ways is crooked and lead me in the way of all. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Alleluia, alleluia. If we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is not a perfection in us. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High, for he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, back to care, shaken down, overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure, will turn be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I read this story in a Catholic Digest um, more than 10 years ago. The tales of Immaculate Ilibagisa, 
a survivor of the genocide resulting from ethnic conflict within the Hutu and tribes of Rwanda, a nation in Africa. Genocide means ubus ng In the 1990s, when the Hutus came to power, they unleashed a swell of violence that left 800,000 Tutsi dead. Aning naraang daang libo and sent just as many 800,000 into exile. Imakiri lost her mother, her father, and two brothers. In her immediate family, siya lang ang survive. Ganon din ang ang kapatid na lalaki na noon ay nag-aaral sa labas nasa. The words of Jesus in the Gospel of today will sound strange to the Hutus and the Tutsis. Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. Be merciful just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Tomorrow, September 11, the world will mark the 19th anniversary of the terrorist attacks on the United States in New York, in the Pentagon, and in Pennsylvania. An attack that brought down the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center and caused the death of more than 3,000 people. Yung mga tao na wala namang kasalan ginawa, kundi ang pumasok lang upang magtrabaho sa umagang yun. In the light of that tragedy, Jesus' advice may seem incredibly naive and impractical. How can people forgive such monstrous acts of hatred and violence? Indeed, the words of Jesus will sound strange to many groups angry at one another the Iraqis and the Americans, the Serbs and Albanians, the whites and blacks, the Indians and the Pakistanis, the also the Indians and the Chinese, the Israelis and Palestinians, the Christians and Muslims. We meet persons who are caught up in the events of the past, whose life today is shaped and controlled by events in the past, and sometimes by events in previous generations. Hindi po natin nabibitiw, binibitiwan ang ating galit, ang ating pagkamuhi. We are unable to forgive and therefore we cannot move on. One of my favorite comic strips is Peanuts by Charles Schultz. Of course, namaya pa na ang creator nitong comic strip, but the strip continues in our in our papers. Uh, nung uh, nung ako po na sa theology, I had a collection of peanuts books. Uh, kasama narito ang uh, uh, the parables of peanuts. 
and the gospel according to peanuts. Anyway, Charlie Brown, one of the characters of this trip, tumatakbo si Charlie Brown upang sabihin sa kanyang aso na ang pangalan ay Snoopy at sa, nang sab masabi kay Snoopy na si Betty ay darating upang makipagkita sa kanya. At ang sagot ni Snoopy, ayokong makita si Betty. Not after what she did to me. Sabi ni Charlie Brown, napakatagal na noon, hindi ba? I don't care, says Snoopy. We, dogs, have very long memories. And then he proceeds to recall the event. There I was, an innocent little puppy, bouncing around one day, eager to please, willing to do anything for a little affection. Then this little girl comes along. Betty, ang kanyang pangalan. She had a stick in her hand. And she says, Hi, cute puppy. Do you want to chase this stick? So she throws the stick, and I, like a fool, go running after it, falling all over myself, bumping my nose and getting a mouthful of mud. I go running back with a stick, bright and eager, just in time to see her walking away with a German shepherd dog. And Charlie Brown says, I am I'm amazed that you remember all that. And S Snoopy answers, how could I forget? I still have the stick. Jesus, in the gospel today, gives us the motivation for throwing that stick away. Love your enemies. Bless, do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you in one cheek, offer, offer the other one as well. Be merciful as your Father is merciful. And he, 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 he makes it clear that this is something that we must do so that we will be children of the Most High, for God himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. The gospel we have proclaimed comes from the passage of Luke, that uh, speaks, that uh, explains uh, the, the Beatitudes in the Gospel uh, of Luke. If we look at, if we look at the, uh, the parallel uh, text in uh, the Gospel of Matthew, uh, it, will it will sound even clearer. Love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. To go back to our opening story, after the killing, when, uh, when uh, the two Sees were back in power. Imakili met with the man who had killed her mother and one of her brothers. She looked the man in the eye and forgave him. She said, Forgiveness is all I have to offer. Anyone in the world can learn to forgive. She made it sound easy, para bang napakadale ang magpatawad. 
But later, she would describe her journey. It was not easy. I went through hell. I was out of my mind with anger. My stomach would ache with anger. I would imagine, I would imagine putting out a bomb uh, to kill the Hutus, shoot them. I was so bitter. I wished I could smile again. I fell on my knees and begged God to help me. One of, here's one of the things that was a saving grace for her was that she was a Catholic. And because she was a Catholic, she was a devotee of the Blessed Virgin Mary. She said, I, I prayed 27 rosaries a day. Imagine, from 6 in the morning to 10 in the evening until I fell asleep, I would cling to my father's rosary. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. The hard part was not getting God to help me. It was trusting that God would help me. And the moment I trusted, I felt the hatred fall off my body, and I could not imagine hating anyone anymore. My dear brothers and sisters, at Mass, we always begin with the rite of reconciliation. We are sinners, all of us. We acknowledge this, we proclaim it, and we, are, we throw ourselves at the mercy and compassion and forgiveness of the loving Father. But we are not just sinners who are reconciled to God. We are also called to be reconcilers, to be persons who take the initiative in healing hurts, correcting mistakes, and righting wrongs, no matter whether we are the culprits or the victims. At Pentecost, at our baptism, and in all the sacraments, we receive the Spirit of Jesus and the Father, the Spirit of peace and reconciliation, of freedom and liberation. Let us allow the Spirit to work in us and through us. And as disciples, let us remember that we are called by God's grace to be healers, reconcilers in places where we might be tempted to be critical. And Jesus, when we do so, the payback is guaranteed by the words that are so beloved of Mike Villarde and the El Shaddai. Sik sik lig lig at Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. Amen. God bless. We now turn to God the Father for the help that we need to follow the example of Jesus who tells us that we are to love our enemies. So pray, God who is love, empower us. God who is love, empower us. That the leaders of the church may give witness to their people in the ways of pardon. 
love, and forgiveness, and so reflect God's holiness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God is love, love empower us. us. That those who are angry, bitter with their neighbors may realize that giving in to feelings of resentment and hatred only separates them from God. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God is love, empower us. us. That families who are divided and torn apart because of indifference toward one another may restore their former closeness and warmth. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God who is love, empower us. us. That the sick may attain the peace of mind which grows from appreciating their special role in joining Christ in his suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God who is love, love empower us. us. That the dead may share in their peace and happiness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God who is love, love empower us. us. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of COVID-19 and of stemming the tide of its transmission. God hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. We pray to the Lord. God, God who is love, and empower us. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us the clergy, religious and laity, to work generously with him, so that we might grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We pray to the Lord. God, God who is love, and empower us. us. And silence, let us pray for all our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God who is love, and empower us. us. God our Father, you know what is good for us. Read our hearts of all bitterness and bless our efforts to love all people. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands is to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, may sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Sorrows, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood with the cross of Jesus. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and to praise you as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Sorrows, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the altar of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. To him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is you come in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and, and drink, drink this, this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, death o Lord, o Lord, until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as a celebrate the memorial, is that the resurrection? We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Brother Rick, our Bishop Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Sorrows, with Saint with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with Peter and Paul and all the blessed apostles, with St. John Paul II, 
Blessed James Alberione, Blessed Timothy Jacardo, Blessed Elena Guerra, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, in the un O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to his supper. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should, you should enter, enter under, under my roof. roof. But only, only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. The body of Christ. Amen. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we complete in ourselves for the sake of the Church what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Uh, we in a prayer uh, to Our Lady of Sorrows. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Immaculate Mother of God, you endure the martyrdom of love and grief, beholding the sufferings and sorrows of Jesus. You cooperated in the benefit of our redemption by your innumerable afflictions and by offering to the Eternal Father his only begotten Son as a holocaust and victim of propitiation for our sins. We thank you for the unspeakable love that led you to deprive yourself of the fruit of your womb, Jesus, true God and true man, to save us sinners. Mother, make use of the unfailing intercession of your sorrows with the Father and the Son, that we may steadfastly amend our lives and never again crucify our loving Redeemer by new sins, and that persevering till death in his grace, we obtain eternal life through the merits of his cross and passion. Mother of love, of sorrow, and of mercy, pray for us. Here we bring before the Lord term to our Lady of Sorrows, our requests, our petitions, and especially our urgent needs. O Lord Jesus Christ, grant that the most blessed Virgin Mary, your mother, whose most holy soul was transfixed with the sword of sorrow in the hour of your own passion, may intercede for us before the throne of mercy, now and at the hour of our death. We offer you, O Lord, the merits acquired by Mary, your mother and ours, when she stood at the foot of the cross. If you, O Lord, will mark iniquities, Lord, who shall it? And pray unto Lady your wounds upon our hearts, that they may read sorrow and love. Sorrow to endure every sorrow for you, love to despise every love for you. Mary, most holy virgin and queen of martyrs, accept the homage of our filial affection. Into your heart, pierced by so many swords, welcome our poor souls. Receive us as the companions of your sorrows at the foot of the cross, in which Jesus died for the redemption of the world. With you, O sorrowful virgin, we gladly suffer all the trials, contradictions, and infirmities which it shall please our Lord to send us. We offer them all to you, in memory of your sorrows, so that every thought of our mind and every beat of our heart may be an act of compassion and of love for you. Sweet Mother, have pity on us. Reconcile us to your divine Son. Keep us in his grace and assist us in our last agony so that we may be able to meet you in heaven and sing your glories. Most Holy Virgin and Mother, whose soul was pierced by a sword of sorrow in the passion of your Divine Son, and who in his glorious resurrection was filled with never-ending joy, teach us to be partakers in the adversities of our Holy Mother Church and the sorrows of the Pope. Then may we rejoice with the Universal Church in the consolations for which we pray in the charity and peace of Christ our Lord. O Mother of mercy, help of Christians, faithful dispenser of divine providence, treasurer of all graces, remember that never in the world has it been heard that you left without comfort 
anyone who has come to you with true devotion. We trust in your tender pity and in your most generous providence. Obtain for us graces for all our spiritual and temporal needs. Finally, we fervently recommend to your immaculate and sorrowful heart the conversion of sinners, the spread of the Catholic faith, and the final solace of the suffering souls in purgatory. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Uh, a priest, all, all, all of um, a priest will give the blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have celebrated the Eucharist. Let us go in the peace and the love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City. Mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish. Salamat po. God bless you. Mater Dolorosa cares for you.